Uvula Atega Oktelikapalak. My name is Stacy Harris. I am from Kotzebue, Alaska. I grew up in two different camps called Sisolik and Eli River. Sisolik is a fish camp and Eli River is more of a winter camp, fall time camp. And those are the two camps that I grew up that really shaped who I am today. My name is George Provost. I'm the manager of Project Life, which is a youth suicide prevention program in the northwest Arctic borough of Alaska. 90% of the population here is, is Inupak, Native Alaskans. Back home in the villages, not a lot of the kids have options. They've got basketball, they've got the open gym just for a couple hours. They don't have it all the time. And a lot of times they go hunting and fishing and do other subsistence activities, but there's so much downtime. In Project Life, we don't focus on suicide, we focus on life, and enjoying life and being well. Our activities that we do are mostly in the schools. We go to all the villages. We have classes in resiliency and wellness, and we do an after-school workshop called Digital Storytelling, which lasts a week, and the young people can make their own short movie and burn it onto a DVD. We've made about 150 of these so far. That's what George does. He goes to all the different villages and he helps these kids create stories. He doesn't say, you are going to create a story. He says, who wants to create one? Once it's done, they have a big community viewing. It's a really powerful piece because other people are really hearing what the kids want to say and have to say because they're not always being heard and they don't always speak up. It can be about how Eskimo dances are fading and how kids want to bring them back. Or it can be their village not having enough activities for the young kids to be doing. It could be about all kinds of things. The wonderful place I call home is filled with nature, inventions, recipes, colors, and feelings. When I created my story, I already knew what it was going to be about because I lost my mom and my brother in a tragic house fire and I lost many more people throughout my life and that's how it is. Life is tough and I knew I was going to title it Life is Short, Take Advantage because I just recently lost my mom and I keep telling myself, man, I feel like I didn't spend enough time with her and I don't want anybody to have that feeling. Before that, my mom's cousins, Albert and Betsy Monroe, went to be with the Lord because of cancer. I was 18 when my best friend committed suicide and he was 21. Making this movie really made me understand and want to live life to the fullest. Um, I had no idea what the outcome was going to be with this digital story, but I realized it's a really big emotional response from anyone and everyone. Everything that I have, and you can hear and see right now, really came from who I am. My grandparents did all they can to make sure I was on the right track, my parents. We have a lot of values that I mentioned at the end of my digital story um, that we go by. Knowledge of language. Knowledge of family tree. Knowledge of family tree. Sharing. Sharing. Humility. Humility. Respect for others. Respect for others. Love for children. Love for children. Please do me a favor. Love your life as it is. Enjoy every moment and cherish it. Learn new things. Go to new places. Further your education. I am going to college at University of Alaska Anchorage and this is my second year. My goal is to become a teacher and go back up north and teach in the Northwest Arctic Borough School District. I don't care, it can be in one of the 11 villages surrounding the Nana region. It doesn't matter to me just as long as I go home and teach and do what I love.